You guys want to play ball with me? No, and you better stop. You're going to get in trouble for playing ball in the house. What are you talking about? No, I'm not. I always play ball in the house and I never get in trouble. Yeah, that's when you were the youngest, Billy. You're not the youngest anymore. You're the middle, middle child now. There's no way mom's going to let you play ball in the house. You're going to get in trouble. Nuh-uh, stop saying that. I'm not going to get in trouble. I'm still mom's favorite. I can get away with anything. Watch this. Oh, no, it's heading right for mom's favorite lamp. Ooh, you're in trouble now, Billy. I can't believe you just did that. You broke mom's favorite lamp. No, I'm not going to get in trouble. I did it so I can prove you two wrong. I have mom wrapped around my pinky. I'll never get in trouble. Watch and learn from a pro. <laughs> what is going on in here? What was that loud bang? You woke your sister up. <gasps> is that my favorite lamp? Who broke it? Tell me right now. It wasn't us, mom. Billy was the one that broke it. He was playing ball in the house. Yeah, we told him to stop, but he wouldn't listen. You two should have a paper and pen so you can take notes. This one's going to be so easy to get out of. Watch and learn. Mom, I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. It was Blippi. We were playing ball in the house and he kicked it too hard and he broke your favorite lamp. I'm sorry, Mom. I'll never let Blippi play ball in the house again. Are you kidding me? You're the one that was playing ball in the house, Billy? How many times do I have to tell you? No playing balls in the house. And stop blaming your dolls on everything. They're not real. So Blippi's not the one that broke my lamp. You're the one that broke my lamp and woke your sister up. So you know what? You're grounded for the next two months, and now you got to watch your sister and get her back to bed. Here. Oh, Coca Melons, are you kidding me? I can't believe it didn't work. Guys, what happened? I usually get away with it. We tried to warn you, Billy. It's because you're the middle, middle child now. You can't get away with that stuff anymore. Everything you do, you're going to get in trouble for. Oh, man, this stinks. I used to get away with everything and just blame it all on Blippi. I guess I don't need you anymore. Oh, yeah, Billy, and I forgot to tell you. You owe me $500 for that lamp. And hurry up and get your sister to bed. I don't like being the middle, middle child. Rock of my baby on this. Man, I'm so excited. I can't believe I got a new Coca Melon coloring book. I'm going to color every single page. <gasps> Billy Joseph, what are you doing coloring on our brand new table? You better not get any of them markers on our table. What are you talking about, Mom? I know how to color in the lines now. I wouldn't get it on the table. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Coca Melons. Are you kidding me, Billy? Did you really just get marker on our brand new table? You're grounded. But, Mom, it was an accident. I didn't mean to. And look, Riley got marker on the table, too. Ooh, you're in so much trouble, Riley. Riley, you drew that circle all by yourself? It's such a perfect circle. It looks like I have a little artist on my hands. What? Are you kidding me, Mom? She's not going to get punished? She colored all over the table. And she did it on purpose. I did it by accident. Nobody likes a tattletale, Billy. Don't try to get your little sister in trouble. Now you're punished even longer. Get up to your room right now. Oh, man. This isn't over between us. This means war. I'll get you in trouble one day. Freaking Riley. Walking around here like she owns the place. It's time to finally take her down. Billy, what are you doing? I'm going to get Riley in trouble and become Mom's favorite again. Last night I thought of the perfect plan. That's never going to work, Billy. And how do you even plan on getting her in trouble? Watch and learn from a professional. After today, I'm going to be Mom's favorite again. <laughs> Like I said, Billy, this is never going to work, but I'll sit back and enjoy the show. So what are you going to do? First, I'm going to scribble all over the walls. <laughs> and next, I'm going to put chocolate syrup all over Mom's new couch. <laughs> no way. Did you really just do that, Billy? What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. Riley did. <laughs> Say goodbye to mom's favorite lamp. <laughs> Billy's about to get himself punished for the next five years. Yo, what are you guys doing? No way, what happened in here? Billy did all this so he can blame it on Riley so she gets in trouble and he thinks he's going to become mom's favorite again. That's never going to work. That's what I said, but he didn't want to believe me. Yes, it will work. I did it to you two a bunch of time and you two always used to get in trouble. Yeah, that's when you were the youngest, Billy. You're not the youngest anymore. You're the middle, middle child now. I'm getting out of here before Mom blames any of this on me. I'll see you at your funeral, Billy. Yeah, whatever. You're just jealous. I'm going to become Mom's favorite again. Now for the final part of my plan. I'm going to go get Riley. Riley! All right, come on, Riley. Come with me. Oh, look! Marker! Yeah, there you go, 
Riley. Go ahead. Color on the walls. Good job. Oh, yeah, and Riley, here, I got you some chocolate syrup. Mom, come quick. Look what Riley did. What is all the hollering about? Oh, my goodness. What happened to my house? Riley did it, Mom. Riley, what are you doing? Billy, are you kidding me? You just sat here and watched your sister draw on the wall and pour syrup on my couch and break my favorite lamp? I tried to stop her, Mom, but she just wouldn't listen to me. I guess I'm your favorite now again, huh? She's a baby! Of course she's not going to listen to you, Billy! You're grounded for the next five years! Get to your room right now! And Riley, you drew such a pretty picture! And it's a good thing, too, because I wanted your father to paint these walls, so that'll give him a reason to. What? Are you kidding me, Mom? This isn't fair! This isn't over between us! <laughs> okay, boys, we're home. Michael, you get Riley's presents out of the back, and Billy, you carry in the balloons. Okay, Mom, pop the trunk. No, I don't want to carry Riley's balloons, Mom. It's not fair. I can't believe you wouldn't let me get a present. I already told you, Billy, you're not getting any more presents on your sibling's birthday. Now grab the balloons and get in the house so we can start the party. Fine, whatever, but just know I'm not happy. Man, this stinks. I can't believe I didn't even get a present on Riley's birthday. I always get presents on my sibling's birthday, and now Mom's making me hold her balloons? This isn't fair. I wish there was a way to make her go away so I could have all of her presents on her birthday. <gasps> Wait a minute, I have an idea. Hey, Riley, come over here. You want to hold your balloons? Come here, Riley. You want to hold your balloons? This plan is going to be perfect. Here you go, Riley. Here's your balloons. Bye-bye, <laughs> Riley. <laughs> Thanks for all your presents. Bye, Riley. Say hi to the astronauts for me. Yes, now I get to open all her presents. Man, I wonder what I got. I mean, what Riley got. <laughs> no way. It's a piggy mystery box. This is so cool. wonder what's in here. No way. It's mini brands. I love mini brands. Billy, are you kidding me? You just opened all your sister's presents? Where's Riley at? Yeah, I opened her presents, Mom, because it's not fair that she gets presents on her birthday, and I don't. I already told you, you don't get presents on other people's birthdays anymore. Now, where's your sister? I don't know, Mom. She's probably around here somewhere, like in the upper atmosphere. <laughs> as soon as I find her, you're grounded, Billy, and you better wrap all those presents back up for Riley. Riley! Yeah, whatever, Mom. I'm not wrapping the presents up. She's never going to find her, and then I'm going to become Mom's favorite again. Riley, are you out here? Hey, Mom, come on, I'm getting hungry. Let's just pretend it's my birthday and go inside and eat some cake. Oh, no! Oh, man! Oh, my goodness, Riley, there you are! Billy, did you tie balloons to your sister's hand so you can have all her presents on her cake? You're grounded! Ouch! Oh, man, next time I have to use more balloons! Boys, I'm going to McDonald's to get dinner. What does everybody want? Yes! I love McDonald's! Mom! Mom! I want a Happy Meal! Mom! Shh! I'm trying to listen. I'll take a cheeseburger, large fries, six-piece chicken nugget, and a large Coke, Mom. Okay. I shouldn't even bother ordering. It's not like Mom's gonna get it for me. I guess it's worth a try, though. Mom, I'll take two Big Macs, a four-piece chicken nuggets, and a large Sprite, please. Oh, that sounds good, Michael. So I got your order, your order, and does anybody else want anything? No way! Mom's actually gonna get me McDonald's? This is the very first time she ever got me McDonald's. Man, it's nice having Billy be the middle, middle child. Yeah, me, Mom. I want a Happy Meal. Mom! Mom! Okay, so nobody else wants anything? Oh, my goodness! I just had an idea! I should get Riley her very first Happy Meal! Um, hello? Earth to Mom! I'm down here! Don't get Riley a Happy Meal! I want a Happy Meal! Mom! I am so excited! This is gonna be the cutest thing! I have to go get my camera. All right, boys, I'll be back with the McDonald's. Wait, Mom, where are you going? I want a Happy Meal. Guys, what the heck just happened? Billy, you're the middle, middle child now. You're a ghost to Mom. You don't exist. You don't get Happy Meals anymore. You don't get toys when you go to the store anymore. Are you freaking kidding me? But I want a Happy Meal. <gasps> don't worry, Billy. I'll give you a fry. I don't want a fry. I want a Happy Meal. <laughs> Huh? My grandmother's senses are tingling. One of my grandbabies needs me. I better go. Boys, I'm back with the McDonald's, and I have Raleigh's Happy Meal. I can't wait to give it to her. 
Thanks, Mom. Come on, Michael. We'll go eat in the kitchen. I still can't believe Mom got me McDonald's. I'll be right there. Mom, did you get me anything? Like a Happy Meal? No, I didn't get you a Happy Meal. I didn't hear you ordering, Billy. Now be quiet. I'm trying to give your sister her very first Happy Meal. Here you go, Riley. And look how cute it is. It's even a little Halloween-themed Happy Meal. Here you go, Riley. Your very first Happy Meal. Oh, man. I wait all year for those Halloween Happy Meals to come out. Mom, you have to go back to McDonald's right now and get me a Happy Meal. No, I'm not going back to McDonald's to get you a Happy Meal, Billy. I'm trying to capture the moment of your sister getting her very first Happy Meal. If you want a Happy Meal, just ride your bike to McDonald's. Say cheese, Riley. I can't ride my bike to McDonald's, Mom. Oh, man, this stinks. Hey, everybody, Grandma's here. Where's my daughter at? Oh, there you are. Ouch, what was that for, Mom? That was for getting Riley a Happy Meal and not Billy. You're grounded. Get up to your room right now. Fine! <laughs> and here you go, Billy. I got you a Happy Meal. No way, Grandma. Thanks. You're the best. And you put $100 in here? Hey, Mom, can I go to... What are you doing on my baby book? What are you, missing me as the favorite child? What? Ew, no. I'm just clearing your baby book out so I can make Riley a baby book. We won't be needing this stuff anymore. Are you freaking kidding me? Wait, what are you doing now, Mom? Is that my memory box? Yeah, I had to make room for Riley's memory box, Billy. We won't be needing these anymore. Ouch! Oh no, I can feel the memories fading away! And we don't need this. Oh no, not my very first karate belt! You're lucky I don't go Bruce Lee on you! Ah! Oh my goodness, look how cute! Riley's very first pair of Uggs! They're going right in the memory box. You can't do this to me, Mom! I'm always going to be the favorite child! You'll see! <laughs> guys, guys, come quick! You have to help me! Mom's getting rid of my baby book and my memory box! Yeah, so what, Billy? That's what happens when you're the middle, middle child. How do you even think you got that baby book? It used to be mine, and then Mom threw all my stuff out to make room for yours. And before that, it used to be Tommy's. Yeah, and then when Michael was born, Mom threw all my stuff out to turn it into Michael's baby book. Are you kidding me? What are we going to do about it? We can't let her keep getting away with this. She can't just erase our childhoods. Billy, just go get all the stuff out of the trash and give it to Grandma. She keeps all of our old stuff from when we were little. She even has a baby book for all of us. Now get out of the way. I'm trying to watch a movie. What? Are you serious? Thanks, guys. You know what? I'm sorry I used to get you in trouble. It's all right, Billy. It's no big deal. It's the circle of life. Michael used to do it to me. Plus, you're going to get all the payback you deserve from Riley. There's no way she's going to get me in trouble. I already know all the tricks she's going to try to play on me. And once I become Mom's favorite again, I won't forget about you two. I won't get you in trouble no more. Now I'm going to go get my stuff out of the trash. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Good luck with that, Billy. He's done for it. Oh, yeah. He's going to be grounded till he's like 47. Soon, I'm going to be Mom's favorite again. And when I do, you're going down. <laughs> hey, Mom, have you seen my... What are you doing? Huh? Oh, I just got a new picture of Riley. So I have to make room. But, Mom, I thought that was your favorite picture in the world. Where are you going to put it? Don't worry, you're still going to have your picture up there. But, Mom, there's not going to be enough room for my picture. Yes, there is. See? And I'm going to put your other picture up in the attic. Are you kidding me? But look how small my picture is! You can't even see it up there next to her big picture! <laughs> oh yeah, well, <laughs> to you, Riley! <laughs> <laughs> now he knows how we felt. Billy, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm trying to sell Riley so I can become Mom's favorite again! Baby for sale! Billy, that's never gonna work. Just bring Riley inside. Me and Michael have a trick to make you mom's favorite again. Hurry up. Fine, I guess I'll try it your way. But if this doesn't work, I'm selling her. Come on, Riley. Okay, guys, I'm here. So what's your plan to make me the favorite again? Okay, so me and Michael did this to you one time. You probably don't remember it. You were probably way too little. But we made Michael the favorite again for a little bit. No way, how did you guys pull that off? And you're right, I don't remember it. Are you sure we should tell him? I don't think he's ready. You might be right. I don't know if you're going to be able to pull this off, Billy. What? No, guys, come on, tell me. I promise I can do it. I'll do anything I have to to take Riley down. Okay, we'll tell you. Step one, you got to get Riley in major trouble. But I already tried that. It's never going to work. You see how cute this kid is? 
Billy, that was small time trouble coloring on the walls. We're talking about big time trouble. I'm listening. Okay, so here's what you gotta do. That is so genius! I can't believe I never thought of that! I'm gonna go get started right now! You're going down, Riley! <laughs> Good luck, Billy! I can't believe he believed us. I told you it was gonna work. Okay, guys, I'm all done! Did you each get your 100,000 V-Bucks? No way, he actually did it? <laughs> yeah, we got it, Billy! Okay, good. That was really smart of you guys to have me put it under your names instead of just my name. Ma would have knew right away. Now it looks like an accident. See, we told you we got your back, Billy. Now what about my PlayStation 5 and his Xbox One? Both are on their way. I even got overnight shipping. And oh yeah, your pizza will be here in about 15 minutes. I even signed the name Riley for everything like you guys said. <laughs> Perfect. Now she has to get in trouble, Billy, since her name's on everything. Yeah, that was really smart of you guys, because then when mom says who ordered pizza, the pizza guy will say Riley. <laughs> it seems like our work here is done, Billy. Now get out of here. Boys, who the heck ordered 200,000 V-Bucks, a PlayStation 5, an Xbox One, and four large pizzas? My time to shine. Riley did it, mom! Billy, Riley can't order a pizza and all that other stuff. She's a baby. Look at her. Oh, yeah, then why is her name on everything, mom? How did you know her name was on everything, Billy? I never said that. Huh? It was just a good guess. Okay, boys, I'll make a deal with you. Whoever tells me who did it gets to keep all the stuff. You already told you it was Riley, Mom. On three. On three. Wait, what are you guys doing? Billy did it so he could get Riley in trouble. You're grounded. <laughs> hey, boys, now that Halloween's over, you know what that means. It's time for our matching Christmas pajamas. Yes! I love when we all get matching Christmas pajamas! That means Christmas is almost here! Oh man, I never get any matching pajamas. Okay, here we go. Tommy, these are yours. Oh, thanks, Mom! And Michael, these are yours. No way, are you serious? You got me matching Christmas pajamas, Mom? Why wouldn't I get you matching pajamas? You're part of the family, aren't you? Thanks, Mom! Oh man. I never got matching Christmas pajamas before. This is the happiest day of my life. I actually feel like part of the family. I think I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna go put them on right now, Mom! And last, here's Riley's Christmas pajamas. Look how cute they are. Mom, aren't you forgetting somebody? What about my pajamas? Oh, I'm sorry about that, Bobby. I totally forgot about you. Just wear the pajamas that you had last year. Who the hell is Bobby? My name is Billy, Mom! Oh man, this is all Riley's fault! Okay, everybody, let's all go get our pajamas on and watch a Christmas movie! I'm down for that. I'll make popcorn after I'm done getting changed. I'm gonna cherish these pajamas forever. This is the best day of my life! <laughs> oh my goodness, look how cute me and Riley look in our matching pajamas! Oh well, I guess I still get to watch a movie. So what movie are we gonna watch, Mom? What are you talking about? What movie are we watching? You're not watching any movie with us, Billy. Pajama Club only. You have to have matching pajamas to watch the movie. That's bull, Coca Melon! <laughs> this isn't over between us, Riley. One day, I'll be Mom's favorite, and I'll be the one with the matching pajamas, not you! <laughs> okay, everybody, now that we're home from Disney, I got presents for everybody. We all got matching family Disney shirts! Whoa, those are so cool! Here you go, Tommy. Oh, cool. It says brother. Check it out. And this one's for you, Michael. Oh, no way. You got me one too, Mom. Thanks. I actually feel like part of the family. And then I got your father one. And last but not least, I got your little sister one. Look how cute she looks. It says sister. How cute is that? What about me, Mom? Where's mine? Oh, I'm sorry, Bobby. I totally forgot to get you one. You can just get a white t-shirt and draw your own. Mom, my name is not Bobby. It's Billy. And I wanted a shirt. I don't want to have to make my own. <laughs> you think you're so cool because you got a family Disney shirt and I didn't? Well, one day I'll be part of the family again and I'll get my own shirt. <laughs> hey, what do you guys want to play? I'm bored. Why don't we just play tag? No, I don't want to play tag. Every time we play tag, I'm always it. And then I'm stuck chasing you guys for the next couple hours. Billy, that's because you were the youngest. You're not the youngest anymore. Riley is, so Riley would be it. Are you serious? I finally...
definitely don't have to be it. This is awesome. Okay, let's play tag. Haha, <laughs> Riley, you're it. We're playing tag. I bet you can't catch me. <laughs> Try to catch me, Riley. <laughs> You'll never catch me, Riley. <laughs> Harry, Billy, run. She's catching up to you. She'll never catch me. I'll put on the burners. <laughs> Run, Billy, run! This is the greatest day of my life! <laughs> okay, guys, now that we're done with tag, I have another idea. How about we play monkey in the middle? And you're in the middle. <laughs> sure, why not? Throw it over here, Billy. Okay, here, Michael, catch! I bet you'll never catch this, Riley! I got it. Here, Billy. <laughs> you're never gonna get it, Riley! You're gonna be stuck in the middle forever! Man, this has been the best day ever! It feels so good not to be the youngest anymore! I don't have to chase people! I don't have to be the monkey in the middle! Now that's all you! <laughs> I finally feel like a big kid now! Hey guys, hey guys, shoot! Ah! Ouch! Oh no, I broke my iPad! Ooh, you're gonna get in so much trouble, Billy! No, I'm not! Mom will just buy me a new one like she always does! No, she won't. You're not the youngest child anymore, Billy. You're the middle, middle child. That was the one and only iPad you're ever going to have. She ain't buying you a new one. And you're probably going to get grounded for like the next three months. Oh, man, are you guys serious? I don't want to get grounded. And I need mom to buy me a new iPad so I can play Minecraft. What am I going to do? She's not going to buy you a new iPad, Billy. You want me to just start knocking your teeth out and then you can save up all the money you get from that tooth fairy to buy a new one? No, I like my teeth, but let's keep that as a plan B, just in case. What can I do? Think, Billy, think. <gasps> I got an idea. Riley! Come here, Riley! Oh, hi, Riley. Come here, I got a present for you. Here, Riley, hold this iPad for a second. How about you throw it around or something, like a football? Hey, Riley, throw me the iPad. Oh, Riley broke my iPad. Billy. You really sunk to a new low. Blaming a baby for something that you did? Hey, I gotta do what I gotta do. Mom! Mom, hurry, come quick! This is never gonna work, Billy. What's going on in here? What's all the commotion about? I was sitting here playing on my iPad, and Riley came up and ripped it out of my hands, and that's when she threw it across the room, and she broke my iPad, Mom! Oh no, Riley, did you break the iPad? Oh, it's okay, sweetie, it was an accident. Yeah, well, an accident ain't gonna buy me a new iPad, Mom. How am I ever gonna play my games? I need a new iPad. Here, give me your iPad, Billy. I'll take it to the store later and I'll buy you a new one. She's just a baby, she didn't mean to. Really? Thanks, Mom. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm getting away with this. <laughs> I can't believe that just worked. Bro, I think Billy just figured out the golden ticket to get new stuff. You know what? My Nintendo's been acting up recently. I'm going to give it a try. Here, Riley, you want to hold my Nintendo? Here you go, Riley. A new ball to throw around. Go ahead, throw it. Mom, Riley broke my Nintendo. I got to get in on this. I want the new iPhone 14. Here, Riley, you want my phone? You know what, Riley? Maybe you're not so bad. <laughs> Mom, it's time for bed. I'm ready for my bedtime story. I picked out this book about koala bears that I want you to read to me. Let me see that. And no, I can't read you a bedtime story, Billy. Aren't you a little too old for bedtime stories? But this is a perfect book for me to read to Riley for a bedtime story. Wait, no, that's not fair, Mom. That's my book. Give it back. And if you're reading her a story, then who's going to check under my bed for monsters? Billy, be quiet. I'm trying to read Riley a book. Monsters aren't real. What are you still doing here anyway? It's past your bedtime. Get upstairs and go brush your teeth before you get grounded. So koala bears also like to... Monsters are real, Mom! I'm looking at one right now! <laughs> oh yeah, well... <laughs> do you do, <too>, Riley? <laughs> my grandmother's senses are tingling. One of my grandbabies needs me. I better go. Everybody, Grandma's here. Where's my daughter at? Oh, there you are. Ow, oh, what was that for, Mom? Thanks for not reading my grandbaby a bedtime story and checking under his bed for monsters. 
Now I gotta go find my grandbaby. Okay, there's nothing to be scared about. You can do this, Billy. You can do this. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm too scared. <laughs> Billy, sweetie, it's Grandma. Yes, Grandma's here. Hi, Grandma. What are you doing here? I came to read you a bunch of bedtime stories. Really? Thanks, Grandma. You're the best. And can you do me one more favor and check under my bed for monsters? Of course I'll check under your bed for monsters, Billy, sweetie. Don't worry. Nope, no monsters down here, Billy. The only monster in this house is your mother for not reading you a bedtime story. But don't worry, Grandma took care of her. Now what book you want to read first? I want to read the pumpkin one, Grandma! Kids, I just got the Christmas decorations out of the attic. Come on downstairs, it's time to hang your stockings up. Yes, I love when we hang our stockings up. That means Christmas is almost here. Come on, guys. Billy, it's not that serious. Come on, Michael, let's just go get this over with. Fine, but I don't even know why I bother. It's not like I have a stocking. Mom always forgets to get me one. I'm here, Mom, I'm here. I'm ready to hang my stocking up. Okay, calm down, Billy. We gotta wait for your brothers to get here. All right, we're here, Mom. All right, can we make this fast, Mom? I want to get back to playing my game. Yeah, whatever. Here, Tommy, here's your stocking. Thanks, Mom. I'm just going to put mine right here. Oh, and Michael, when I was going through the Christmas decorations, I noticed you didn't have a stocking. So I went to the store this morning, and I got you one. Here you go, sweetie. Oh, my God, are you serious, Mom? You got me a stocking? It's my very first stocking. I think I'm about to cry. It's just a stocking, Michael. No reason to cry about it. Mom, hurry up. Where's my stocking at? I'll get to it when I get to it, Billy. And next is Riley. Here's her stocking. And here you go, Riley. Here's your stocking. <laughs> Holy Cocomelon, her stocking is huge. It's bigger than her. Mom, hurry up. Where's my stocking at? Shh, be quiet, Billy. Next up is the dog stocking. Isn't it so cute? It's a little paw. Are you kidding me? The dog got his stocking before I did? Mom, this isn't fair. Hurry up and give me my stocking. Jeez, okay, calm down. Here's your stocking, Billy. Are you kidding me? What the heck is this, Mom? It's so tiny. No presents are even going to fit in here. Stop being so ungrateful and be glad you even got a stocking. Now hang it up. But it's not fair, Mom. Even the dog got a bigger stocking than me. I don't want to hang my stocking up. This is all your fault! I hope your gigantic stocking gets full of coal this year! <laughs> Welcome to being the middle middle child, Billy. I can't wait to hang my stocking up. Guys, check it out! I was snooping around Mom's room, and I found our Christmas presents! Let's open them up! No way, we'll get in too much trouble. You better go put them back. Whoa, whoa, hold up, Tommy. Why are you telling him to put them back? As long as we don't open them up, we won't get in trouble. But if he opens them up, he'll get in trouble. Go ahead, Billy. Open them up. See what you got. Yeah, I guess you're right. Go ahead, Billy. Open them up. Actually, I'm not going to get in trouble. I have a foolproof plan this time. Watch and learn. Oh, Riley! Come here! Come here, Riley! I have presents for you to open up! Here you go, Riley! Open these presents up! Mom got them for you! Really, Billy? Recruiting a baby to do your dirty work? That's just low. Yeah, Billy, it's never going to work. You're still going to get in trouble. No, I'm not. This plan is totally going to work. Now hurry up and start opening them presents before Mom gets home. Rip it open. Hurry up, Riley. Come on. Hurry up before Mom gets home. Whoa, no way. We got a piggy mystery figure. This is awesome. It's exactly what I wanted for Christmas. Hurry, Riley. Start opening the rest of the presents. Hurry up, Riley. No way. Is that what I think it is? I can't believe it. I got an Oculus Quest. You guys are so jealous. I'm going to play it right now. I can't wait for Mom to get home. You're going to get in so much trouble. Kids, I'm home from this store. Oh my goodness, what are you guys doing? Are those your Christmas presents? Uh-oh, time to see if my plan worked. <laughs> it wasn't us, Mom, I promise. Riley was the one that opened all of our presents. Is this true? Riley, did you open all the Christmas presents? Oh, it's...
it's okay, sweetie. You didn't know any better. It was an accident. You know what? I'm gonna go to the store and get you new Christmas presents since you already saw these ones. I'll be back later, boys. No way! I can't believe that actually worked! And we're getting more presents! You know what, Riley? I'm starting to like you! We should team up more often! Are you serious? I can't believe Billy pulled that off! And he's getting more Christmas presents? I know, right? Let's go find our presents and have Riley open them! Come on, Riley! You're coming with us! Hey, guys! Has anybody seen my Minecraft hoodie? I want to wear it to school! Huh? Riley! What are you doing? That's my sweatshirt! Take my sweatshirt off right now! I want to wear it to school! What do you mean, though? Take it off right now or I'm going to tell Mom! I want to wear it to school! It's my new sweatshirt! <laughs> You're never going to get it back, Billy. It's hers now. You might as well just forget about it. No, it's not hers! It's mine! And you want to bet? Watch! I'll get it back! Get over here, Riley! <laughs> hey, get back here! Give me my sweatshirt, Riley! Run, Riley, run! <laughs> I gotcha! Hey, what is going on in here? Billy, what are you doing? Why are you chasing your little sister? Because she took my Minecraft sweatshirt, Mom, and she won't give it back, and I want to wear it to school! Tell her to take it off right now! Oh, Riley, sweetie, did you take Billy's sweatshirt so you could wear it? Oh, look how cute she looks in it, Billy. Maybe your sister likes Minecraft like you. You know what? Just let her have it, Billy. Just wear one of your other sweatshirts. I don't want to wear another sweatshirt, Mom. I want to wear my new Minecraft sweatshirt. It's not hers. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> to you too, Riley. Come on, Mom. Please make her take it off. I already told all my friends I was going to wear my Minecraft sweatshirt to school today. No, I'm sorry, Billy. It's hers now. Look how cute she looks in it. My little Minecraft player. Just wear something else to school. What are you talking about, Mom? She's not your little Minecraft player. I'm your little Minecraft player. She doesn't even know what Minecraft is. Welcome to being the middle, middle child, Billy. Now you know how I feel when you took my Fortnite sweatshirt. We're not talking about this anymore, Billy. Now finish getting ready for school, because if you're late, you're getting grounded. Really, Billy? Taking toys from a baby? Now that's low. You don't even play with them anymore. Yes, I do. I play with them all the time. You just never see me playing with them. And if she wants toys, she can go to the store and get her own toys. That's like stealing candy from a baby, Billy. Just let her play with them. No! No means no! <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought! Get out of here! I don't even feel like playing with these anymore. Did you really take the toys away from her and you don't even want to play with them? Come on, Billy. Yeah, so what? They're my toys. I can do whatever I want with them. Plus, I got bored. I'm going to go play on my iPad. <laughs> Guys, my iPad's dead. Did you see the charger? <gasps> Riley, I said you're not allowed to touch my toys! And what did you do to JJ? You destroyed him! Give me that! I can't believe it! You wrote all over JJ's face and you destroyed my toy! Hey, what's going on in here? What's all the commotion about? Good thing you're here, Mom! Riley wrote all over my toy and she ruined it! <laughs> oh, Riley, did you draw all over JJ's face? Oh, my little makeup artist! She just wanted to give JJ a makeover, Billy. JJ didn't need a makeover, Mom, and she ruined my toy. Now I need you to take me to the store and get a new one. No, I'm not taking you to the store to get a new toy, Billy. Just go try to scrub it off. I'm sure it'll come off. No, it won't. It's permanent marker. It'll be fine, Billy. And Riley, I didn't know you liked Cocomelon so much. Since Billy doesn't want to share his toys with you, let's go to the store. I'll buy you a new Cocomelon toy. What? Are you serious? You're going to take her to the store to get a new toy? Take me to the store 
and get me a new toy. Here, Riley can have this one. No, Riley doesn't want that old doll. It's got a marker all over its face. Riley wants a new toy. Come on, Riley, let's go to the store. Yeah, the marker's from her, Mom. Are you kidding me? We're back from the store. Look at Riley's new toy she got. Okay, Riley, I'm going to put you in your playpen so I can go make dinner and call my friend, okay? <laughs> it's okay. No, it's okay, Riley. I'm going to go make dinner. I'll be right back. Huh? What's that? My grandmother's senses are tingling. My grandbaby needs me. Hey, what's going on in here? Where's my daughter at? Oh, there you are. Ouch, Mom. What was that for? Thanks for putting my grandbaby in a playpen instead of watching her. Now move. I have to save my grandbaby. Ah! Don't worry, sweetie. Grandma's here. Grandma's here now, sweetie. I'll make sure that bad lady never watches you again. Hey, Mom, hey, Mom. Can I borrow your phone, please? I want to play Minecraft. Oh, sure thing, Billy. Here you go. Thanks, Mom. Time to put in Mom's passcode. Wait a minute. Why isn't it working? Mom, why isn't it working? I'm putting my birthday in. Oh, that's because I changed the passcode, Billy. It's not your birthday anymore. So, what'd you change your passcode to then, Mom? I changed it to Riley's birthday. Are you serious, Mom? You changed your passcode from my birthday to Riley's birthday? But I thought I was the favorite child! <laughs> <laughs> presents. I'm so excited! <laughs> Whoa! Look at all that stuff! Mom even got my favorite candy! Hey, what are you doing? Get your paws off of that stuff. It's not yours. That's for your sister, Riley. Oh, hi, Mom! Happy Valentine's Day! Holy moly! If all that's Riley's stuff, I can't even imagine how much stuff Mom got me. She probably got me a tons of stuff. Oh, yeah, here, Mom. I made this for you, since we're always each other's Valentines. Oh, thanks, but I'm not your Valentine this year, so I didn't get you anything. Riley's my Valentine this year. It's her first Valentine's Day. Now, let's see what you got me. Are you serious right now, Mom? Riley's your Valentine? I bet you she didn't even get you anything. I'm always your Valentine's, Mom. Yeah, well, not this year. Oh, look, you got me a frame. I could put a picture of Riley in this. Thank you, Billy. Really? You're going to put a picture of Riley in there? You know what, Mom? Give me my presents back! Okay, fine. You can have your picture frame back. I had a picture of a funny-looking kid in there anyway. That funny-looking kid in there is me, Mom! What happened? I used to be your favorite! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just be quiet. I think your sister's coming down the stairs. Oh, my goodness! There she is! Look how cute Riley looks in her little Valentine outfit. Oh yeah, Riley! I forgot about you! Well, enjoy it while it lasts, because I'll be Mom's Valentine again soon! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, hey guys! I shouldn't even ask. Okay, Billy, I'll bite. What's wrong? Why are you so upset? He probably just watched Free Willy again. Billy always cries when he watches Free Willy. That's because it's the best movie ever! Willy should have never made it over those rocks! But no, that's not it! Mom's not my Valentine's this year! Riley is! She didn't even get me anything! It's because you're the middle, middle child now, Billy. You're never gonna get anything again. Welcome to the club. Yeah, that's why me and Michael teamed up. We're each other's Valentine's. Since Mom never gets us anything, so we get each other something every year. We call it Brother Times Day. And oh yeah, Tommy, thanks for the new Nintendo game. It's awesome. Ah, uh, you're welcome, no problem. Thanks for the new camera. That sounds so cool! I wish I had a brother to have Brother's Times Day with! 
Billy, you do have brothers. We had a feeling something like this was going to happen, so we went out and got you something. Happy Brothers Times Day. Welcome to the club. You guys got me this stuff? Thank you so much. I think I'm going to cry. Oh, yeah, guys, here, I got you something, too. No, it's okay. You can keep that. Are you sure? Yeah, we're good. Billy, have you seen? Where'd you get all that money from? Oh, this money? I actually found a good use for Riley. Okay, and that doesn't explain how you got the money. Well, ever since I became the middle middle child, I'm not allowed to go in Mom's purse and take her money anymore. I'll get grounded. So, for the past couple weeks, I've been training Riley to go in Mom's purse and get me her money. Dude, you know eventually you're going to get caught, right? No, I'm not, because I don't even go near Mom's purse. If anybody gets caught, it's going to be Riley, and she's just going to think it's a mistake. Watch, I'll show you how it's done. Oh, Riley, come here! Riley, come here, hurry up! Hurry up, Riley, I got a mission for you! Okay, Riley, remember what I was teaching you? See this money right here? Go in Mom's purse and get me more of this money. Go, go, go! get caught. Here's $20 to keep your mouth shut. I can't believe that worked. All right, Billy, you got a deal. I won't tell mom, but I want 20% of everything you get. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> yes, it's Easter morning. That means the Easter bunny came and we're going to have an Easter egg hunt. I better hurry up and get downstairs. <laughs> everybody, everybody, hurry up. We got to go outside and have our Easter egg hunt. I already got my basket. I'll meet you all out front. I don't even know why we bother. Every year, Mom lets Billy get all the eggs and we get nothing. Yeah, that's true, but I think this year's gonna be a little bit different. Billy's not the youngest child anymore. Riley is. I totally forgot about that. It's Riley's first Easter. You know what? This Easter egg hunt might not be too bad after all. This should be good. Come on, let's hurry up and get outside. Whoa! Look at all the eggs! Everybody, hurry up! It's time for the Easter egg hunt! Okay, okay, calm down, Billy. You have to wait for Riley. It's her very first Easter. I'm so excited. Are you ready to get some eggs, Riley? Oh, yeah. I forgot about Riley. Well, hurry up and put her down, Mom. I'm ready to get started. Okay, just give me a second. Is everybody ready? Dude, this is going to be so good. I don't even think Billy realizes what's going to happen. I know. I've been waiting all my life for this. Okay, everybody go. Finally, it's about time, Mom. I'm going to get all the eggs. <laughs> this one's mine. This one's mine. Riley, what are you doing? Give me that egg. This is my egg. You got to be faster than that. Billy Joseph, what are you doing? Don't take your sister's eggs. This is your sister's Easter egg hunt, not your Easter egg hunt. Now put all the eggs that you got back on the ground. Are you serious, Mom? That's not fair! These are all my eggs! It's not my fault she's not fast enough to get all the eggs! Don't backtalk me, Billy! You're grounded! Now you're not getting any eggs! Now put your eggs back on the grass right now! And after you're done putting all the eggs back, get up to your room! This isn't fair! I always get all the eggs on Easter! Fine, whatever! Here, Riley! You can have all the eggs! Billy, I can't believe you would do that to your sister! You know what? Now you're grounded for two months! Get up to your room! <laughs> Welcome to being the middle, middle child, Billy! <laughs> yeah, now you know how we felt all those years. We didn't get eggs. There you go, Riley. Go ahead and pick up all the eggs! Happy Easter, everybody! Where is it? Where is it? Yes! Ten bucks! Man, that should get me a lot of Robux. I wonder if Mom has any more money. You can never have enough Robux. Yo, Billy. Ah! Oh, you scared me. I thought you were a mom. No way, I can't believe it. I just caught you red-handed taking Mom's money out of her purse. What? No, uh No, I wasn't. I was looking for gum. That is a lie. Uh-oh. Say cheese. Oh man, you forgot to smile. Tommy, I'm not messing around. Delete that picture right now. 
No way, I'm not deleting it. Matter of fact, I'm going to make it my home screen. Do you really think I'm not going to tell mom after all the times you got me and Michael in trouble? Come on, Tommy. Please delete it. Don't you have a heart? I'm going to get in so much trouble. Mom will probably never let me play Roblox again. Delete it, please. I'll do anything, I promise. All right, fine. You know what? I'll make a deal with you, Billy. I won't show mom this picture, but for the next month, you got to do whatever I say. Okay, fine. You got yourself a deal. Please, just don't tell mom. Don't worry, I won't tell her, as long as you do everything I say. I promise, I will. Thank you so much for not telling on me. No problem, Billy. You're going to wish I told on you by the time I'm done with you. Phew, that was a close one. But I still got my ten bucks. Time to go buy my Robux. <laughs> I'm home from baseball practice, everybody. Hey, Billy, where are you at? Get in here. Yeah, what do you want, Tommy? I was playing Roblox. Excuse me? What did you call me? That's not how you're supposed to greet me. I'm sorry. Yes, almighty great one who is way better than me and cooler and smarter and more handsome than me. What do you want? Now that's more like it. So I just got home from practice and my dogs are barking. I need you to rub my feet. Your nasty feet. Okay, if you say so. I guess I'm just gonna have to text this picture to mom then. Wait, hold up, I'm sorry. Don't send that to mom. Okay, I'll rub your feet. That's what I thought. And don't forget to clean in between my toes. Ew. Okay, I'm all done. I'm gonna go get back to my game now. Boys, dinner's in 15 minutes. And Tommy, don't forget it's trash night. I want you to take the trash out right now. Okay, no problem, mom. Billy, you heard mom. Go take the trash out. Oh man, fine. Okay, boys, dinner is served. Billy, isn't there something you want to say to everybody? Thanks for reminding me. I almost forgot. So I wanted to tell everybody that Tommy is way smarter than me and more handsome than me, and he's better at everything than me. And? And I smell. Okay, boys, here we go. This is our new home. Whoa, this house is awesome. I'm going to go pick out my room. I guess I'll sleep on the couch. Michael, what are you talking about? This house is bigger than our last one. You get your own room. What? Are you serious, Mom? I get my own room? I can't believe it. I never had my own room. Tommy, wait for me. I got my own room. <laughs> are you guys serious? You guys left me at the old house. I had to run all the way here and chase the moving truck. Oh, sorry about that. There was a lot going on. We must have forgot about you. Are you serious? How could you forget about me, Mom? I used to be your favorite child. You know what? Fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go pick out my new bedroom. <laughs> Whoa, this room is cool. I'll take this room. I don't think so, Billy. This is my room. Get out. Oh, man. Whatever. I'll just go find another room. <laughs> Whoa. This room looks really cool. You know what? This will be my room. Not a chance, Billy. This is my room. Mom finally said I can have my own bedroom. Go look somewhere else. Oh, man. Fine. I think there's one more bedroom left. I better get there quick. <laughs> Here we go. Home sweet home. This is definitely going to be my room. I might need to paint the walls and change a couple things. But I can definitely see myself living here. Billy, what are you doing? This is Riley's room. Get out. What? Are you serious, Mom? But there's no more bedrooms left. Where am I supposed to sleep? I don't know, Billy. How about you go sleep in the basement or something? Are you kidding me, Mom? The basement? I don't want to sleep in the basement. This is all your fault, Riley. <laughs> I'll get out, but this isn't over. I'll have my own room soon. <laughs> the basement. It sure is spooky down here. I can't believe I have to sleep down here. Well, I guess here's my room. Oh, man, this really stinks. Today, when I woke up, I thought it was going to be a perfect day. I got out of bed, and I started heading downstairs so I could make breakfast. And that's when, all of a sudden, my doorbell rang. It was weird because nobody should be coming over, so I went downstairs to open the door to see who it was, and that's when Chucky was standing at my front door. I don't know how he found me, but I told him he has to go, and he wasn't allowed to come in my house. 
so I quickly shut the door and I locked it. I was a little freaked out because I can't believe he followed me to my new house. But I thought it was over, so I went to grab my breakfast and that's when I heard something in the basement. I crept over slowly so I could peek through the little cat door that we have, and you won't believe what I saw. When I looked in the door, there was Chucky standing there in my basement. I got scared and I jumped back and I told him to get out right away. When I looked back, he was totally gone. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna get rid of Chucky? Hey boys, check it out! Somebody's moving in next door! We're gonna have new neighbors! No way, are you serious? I hope they have a kid my age! That way I have someone to play with and I can have a new best friend! Billy, to have a new best friend, you need an old best friend. And you don't have any friends. Yes, I do! You just don't know them! They go to a different school! Honestly, I don't care who moves in next door. I'm just glad we don't live next to Mrs. Jenkins anymore. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. It's been so peaceful around here. We've been able to do anything we want. Yeah, yesterday I was riding my quad out front, and nobody called the cops on me! It was a perfect day. Well, boys, listen up. Since we're new to the neighborhood, and there are new neighbors, I want you boys to go over there and introduce yourselves. Oh, Mom, are you kidding me? I don't feel like going over there and being social. I was about to go play Fortnite. Come on, Michael, it'll be fun! Maybe our new neighbors have a bunch of toys we can play with! Michael, I'm not going to say it again. Go over there and meet the new neighbors, or you're not playing Fortnite for the rest of the week. Fine, whatever. I'm going to get there first! That way I can become their best friend! <laughs> oh my god, Billy's going to scare the new neighbors away. <laughs> okay, guys, stay back! I'm going to be the first one to knock! Hello, it's your new neighbors! Oh, hiya, boys! <laughs> oh no, Mrs. Jenkins broke into our new neighbor's house! Mrs. Jenkins, what are you doing here? I didn't break into your neighbor's house, you noodle brains. I am your new neighbor. Welcome to the neighborhood, boys. <laughs> no! Now you boys got five seconds to get off my porch before I call the cops. You boys are trespassing. Okay, okay, we're leaving, Mrs. Jenkins. Don't call the cops. Come on, guys. Guys, I can't believe this. What are we going to do? So, boys, did you meet the new neighbor? Tell me all about them. Mom, you're not going to believe this. Our new neighbor is Mrs. Jenkins. No way! I can't believe it! What a small world! I didn't even know she was selling her house! Well, this is going to be great! Now we have a neighbor that we know, and that way I can get a babysitter for you boys! I think you drank too much coffee today, Mom! It must be getting to your head! Mrs. Jenkins is the worst neighbor in all of history! And why would you ever want the Blair Witch to babysit us?! Yeah, Mom, she probably bought the house next door so she can keep getting us in trouble. Oh, you boys have such a wild imagination. I'm sure it was just a kawinky dink. Now I'm going to go make dinner. You boys better behave. I can't believe this. Our lives are ruined. What are we going to do? We have to get Mrs. Jenkins out of this neighborhood. I don't know, Billy, but we got to do something. I can't believe those boys really thought they could get away from me. They're done for it. <laughs> Hey, Tommy! Tommy! Mom said you have to take me to the store so I can buy some Prime! No, I'm busy. I'm not taking you to the store. Ride your bike or something. And are you even old enough to drink Prime? Are you crazy? I'm not riding my bike to the store. It's like 10 miles away. And yeah, Mom said I'm allowed to try it. It's going to be my very first time. I'm going to go tell Mom you're not going to take me. Ma! Tommy, you're going to take your brother to the store so he can buy his Prime, and that's final. Now take him to the store. Fine, whatever. Come on, Billy. Yes! Oh, my friends are going to think I'm so cool once I tell them I drank Prime! I'm coming! <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to try this Prime. I'm pretty upset they didn't have bottles, but a can is just as good. Okay, here I go. So how's your Prime taste, Logan Paul? It's really good. It's like the best drink ever. It's just a little sour at first. What are you doing now, Billy? Well, ever since I started drinking Prime, my brain power has been at like 100%. So I started collecting Pokemon cards. These are going to be my investment. They're going to be worth a quadrillion dollars when I'm older. <laughs> oh my god, that's your average Prime drinker for you. Hey everybody, it's Billy here. And I just wanted to let you all know, today I drank my very first Prime. Now what are you doing? Are you serious right now? I'm trying to vlog and you just messed it up. Now I gotta start over. Hi, everybody. All right, calm down, Billy Paul. I was just asking you a question. Hey, guys. Guys.
guys, watch this. I'm literally gonna do the gritty with my prime. <laughs> I should have just took the punishment instead of taking him to the store. Well, now you know for next time. Billy, what are you doing on top of the couch? I'm Logan Paul from WWE, and this is gonna be my finisher from the top ropes. Ah!